In today's video, is that body fat or just water? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to discuss the topic of how to tell if it's body fat or just water, or if it's water or body fat on your physique that you're seeing, and how to tell those things apart. The reason I want to discuss this topic is because, well, as competitors and as people that are dieting for fat loss, we can get very focused on the scale, and for good reason. When body fat comes off, the scale does drop. However, I think sometimes we can associate any change in the scale to a change in body fat when it's obviously not always going to be the case. It's more often than not going to be fluids, fluid balance that is going to have the biggest impact on the scale from day to day. And um, fluid dynamics in our body are very big. They can drastically change very quickly. So let's talk a little bit about how to tell if it's body fat or if it's water. First thing I want to address is when we hear from someone that we're holding on to a little water. This is a very common feedback from say a judge at a competition. They'll say, well, you look like you're just holding a little water in your hamstrings or glutes. So let's talk about what that means. So fat resides in our bodies between our skin and on top of our muscle cells, okay? On top of our muscle fibers, that, that is. So what happens when we have a little bit more body fat is it kind of blurs the details and the separations. As we lose body fat, in this area between the skin, the muscles begin to look a little more detailed, a little more striated. This is where the illusion comes in that people are actually getting more muscular when they get leaner because you can actually start to see, even in myself, I'm starting to recognize, okay, the point in my medial delt is starting to come out. When I move my shoulders, I start to see some striations. I am dieting down right now. That's right. I actually hit a new low today, 215, okay? So being down at 215 pounds from where I started around 225 pounds earlier in the year, things are starting to change. This is where my body starts to show changes each week. And so what we get feedback from a judge sometimes is we'll flex a body part or they'll see us on stage next to someone else and they'll say, well, I know it's there because you can kind of see a hint of it, but there's a little layer of water. Well, that's a little bit false. You had a little bit more body fat to lose. Adipose tissue, fat cells, do actually store water in them. So if you have water in fat cells, it's going to increase that blur. I think, in my, in my opinion, this is probably where people get the idea that you should cut water for a show. Because in fact, if you are not stage lean and you have extra body fat on your body and you dehydrate the whole body, you might come out looking a little bit leaner. The problem is you're not just pulling water out from underneath the skin and underneath the fat cells, you're pulling out of your muscles. So your muscles are no longer going to be able to be hydrated and full. Okay. So when we're talking about getting stage lean, the reason I don't believe in pulling water out is because you dehydrate the muscle. However, that means you have to have your ass in shape. You have to be shredded. If you are shredded, it's impossible to almost spill and look watery because there's nowhere for the water to go. People that get shredded will know this and they'll start nodding their head when I say this sentence. When you are shredded, you're peeing all day long. When you drink something, it just goes right through you. There's no place for your body to store much fluids. So I notice the leaner I get and I keep my hydra hydration the same, I'm just constantly peeing around the clock and that's just because there's nowhere for the water to be stored. So when you hear a judge or you get some feedback that you have to lose a little bit of water, it's not water it's body fat. And here's how you can tell. Look at another competitor who has gotten a little bit leaner than you, okay? It's not that they drink less water than you or drink more water than you, it's that they dieted longer. And the real issue is usually just understanding how much body fat we have to lose and how difficult it is to get body fat off in certain places. So when you're dieting, 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 you'll start to see some fantastic changes in one area of your body, right? Like, like, um, you know, for men, I think early on when I'm really, really starting to diet down, I see some changes up here through the upper body. And then as the diet gets longer, it starts to, you know, my, my core gets a little leaner, uh, lower back starts to tighten up, my waist measurement gets smaller. But for me to really, really get crazy details in like my hamstrings and glutes, I gotta go well beyond that. And most people stop dieting when they start to see some good changes, you know? 
depending on your goals, if it's not to get on stage, then obviously you're not going to keep pushing through these crazy barriers that require it. But it just comes down to dieting for longer to get the water off. So let's talk about another aspect, and that is, is it fat or is it water? Let's say you've been dieting for a long time on low calories, and um, either you get to a show or you didn't get to a show, but you reached a place where you know you've had enough and you wanna go out to eat. Then you go out and you have a big meal or you have a big day where you overeat. The next day you wake up 10 pounds heavier. Well, what's happened here? Likely, you've stored a little bit of body fat, but, certainly not 10 pounds. What really happens when we've been dieting for a long period of time, most of us when we're on a, a long diet of a deficit, carbohydrates are low, sodium just gets lower by default because you're eating less food. And so when you go out to eat and you have a high calorie, high sodium meal, you might have some alcoholic beverages, you might have a lot more fluids and a lot more sodium. Some really tasting, tasty foods are really dense in sodium. Um, you know, oftentimes things like uh, pizza and sushi are just loaded with sodium. Obviously, these aren't things that we can really consume when we're in a strict caloric deficit because these foods are so calorically dense. Now, I don't have a problem with those foods. I'm all for including them, but assuming, uh, consuming them in quantities that is going to uh, be enjoyable is probably not going to happen during the prep so, or the diet. So what does that 10 pounds consist of? I'd say it's 80, 90, even more percent hydration and fluids. Well, why? Well, because you weren't consuming a lot of sodium and you weren't consuming a lot of carbohydrates, when you take in those carbohydrates and you take in that sodium, your body rapidly stores it, okay? And it's going to store it in the muscles, in the fat, it's going to just the digestive system is going to hold a lot of it. You might even notice you're puffy, like your rings are tight, okay? If that's the case, then we can safely assume that a lot of it is going to be water, okay? Now, how do we figure the rest out? Well, if you really want to keep your weight stable and get back into a good place um, after an episode like that, the most important thing is just to go back on your old plan, get your foods and everything back to normal, get back into the gym and being active, whether that be cardio or just, just moving a lot, and drink a ton of water. A lot of people, don't realize this, but water is a fantastic diuretic. If you drink a lot of water, your body actually speeds up the process of ridding itself of that water. So if you overeat, overconsume, and you have a bunch of sodium and maybe a bunch of carbohydrates, and you're worried that you've put on a bunch of weight that might be body fat, well, after two or three days going back to your old plan, you'll see that you drop two, three, four pounds sometimes each successive day, just getting out there sweating, eating, and doing things normal that's when we know, okay, that was water weight. And sometimes what I really suggest my clients do, if they go on vacation, if the show is over, if they reach their goal, but then they went on a cruise and went on a vacation and they say, hey coach, I'm back. When would you like me to check in? I say, do not, do not step on the scale for a week. One week, why? Well, as much as we wanna tell ourselves that it's just water weight and as much as we wanna tell ourselves that it's gonna come off, Stepping on a scale and seeing an increase of 5, 10, 15 pounds, whatever it might be, can just be demoralizing considering all the work you put into this process. So my suggestion is avoid the scale, okay? This is not a scale competition. We don't care. If you're worried that it's going to give you some negative feedback, don't do it. What we want to do is get back in a normal routine, get back on a normal diet, get back to our lifestyle. Because again, I'm preaching this as a lifestyle. So when you get back to it as a lifestyle, you have your four or five, six days in a row back on plan, you step back on the scale, it's gonna be a much more realistic comparison to what's going on. So that's how I would tell guys if it's body fat or cardio. Now, I wanna do something now that I don't think I've ever done on this channel before, and that is talk about a product. You see, thanks to all you guys that have been clicking the subscribe button, the like button, the comments button, people have noticed that my channel has grown. I've gone from, Three years ago, less than 5,000 subscribers to January this year, I hit 30,000 subscribers. And the other day, I want to say yesterday or the day before, I hit 40,000 subscribers. So my channel has actually been benefiting from all of you guys taking part of it. And um, so I want to thank you guys for that. Now, companies have been reaching out to me asking me to do product reviews and um, put things on my channel. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to monetize my channel in a way. I just like giving you guys information. And if you've already heard too much, 
sorry, but this seems like it's a worthy inclusion. So a company reached out to me and said, hey, we have all these products that fit your lifestyle. The company is called New Air, and when they reached out to me, they said, hey, we really like what you're doing with your channel. What we would like to do is send you something for free, use it at your discretion, and if you like it, talk about it. And so I looked over the website, and they had a bunch of interesting products, and the one that stood out to me the most was a really cool beverage refrigerator. I'm also gonna put a link to it below for 20% off, um, and if you purchase it, well, guess what? The company that sent it to me will be happy. And if you don't, no hard feelings. But um, I think it's a quality product. I got it in my office right there in the corner and I'll do a little highlight of it. One other thing I'd like to add that I like about this fridge right here is that on the bottom of the refrigerator is a little lock and key. So you can actually put this in a place where either kids or your, your grubby employees might be likely to try to steal your white monsters and you can lock it from them. Um, it also runs very quietly. I don't even hear it in the office. And I'll say this about it. It looks sleek, like, you know, I wanted my office to look nice. It's all black with black glass, black shelves, looks sharp. So um, yeah, I'm doing this just because it's a product that I'm actually going to use and I actually needed. And I thought, you know, maybe you guys have a similar situation where you have a space where you're looking for a fridge. I will say the cool thing about it is when I told them about it, that I said, hey, I would like this product. Within a day or two, it showed up in my garage, literally unpacked it, plugged it in, put the shelves in, loaded it with my monsters and I was off and running. So uh, I want to thank them for that and the link below is for you guys if you're interested and as always guys I'll talk to you tomorrow.